Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the installation of Android 11 Beta 3 on our Galaxy J7 2016. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, this is Android 11 Beta 3 GSI on our Galaxy J7 2016. Now you can install this GSI on any treble supported device and our device does not support treble by default. But we have ported treble from S20 and that works really fine and you can easily install Android treble or uh, sorry, any treble GSI on your device so that's really nice and thanks to all the developers so here we go this is the android 11 beta 3 gsi so you can see this is the new easter egg uh, sorry for this and for the third time you do this you get this 11 so this is the uh, correct android 11 easter 3 uh, uh, you can see uh, easter egg sorry not easter 3 so this is easter egg and you also get the cat game but it's not available in the us or oh, sorry it, it is not available outside the us and canada because we don't have that power menu cards uh, thing so yeah we just get that uh, uh, easter egg and nothing else now guys this is not a regular review of a rom or something this is just a you know installation guide for our galaxy j7 2016 i've already made a video on the redmi note 5 pro where i explained all the features of the android 11 beta 3 so if you want to check all the features you can check it here and you can also go through the description of that video for the uh, feature preview and also uh if you want to install android 11 beta 3 then you can easily like no watch this video and get through it so yeah let's start with the main thing which is the installation other stuff you will get in this video in the i button for the redmi note 5 pro and it is for the redmi note 5 pro but the android 11 beta 3 changes will be same so yeah let's take a look at the installation now first of all power off your device and boot it into the custom recovery so you have to press the volume up uh, home and the power button wait until you get the boot logo and just leave them and now it will boot into the custom recovery whichever you have installed i'm using the orange fox recovery i don't know if r10.1 or r11 but yeah it's the orange fox recovery and you can use any recovery now first of all you have to wipe uh, your older rom you can back up your data and keep it in a pc or your phone and uh, a micro sd card but yeah don't keep anything on internet sd because if something goes wrong then you have to format the data and that shit so now first of all you have to create a vendor partition now i already have created vendor partition so i don't need and i accidentally deleted the create vendor zip so yeah just download the create vendor zip version 2 uh from the description and you have to flash it and reboot back into recovery uh for some precautions so yeah next uh, step is to flash the gsi into system image so let's skip this because yeah why just keep looking at this the GSI has been installed successfully and it is an AB GSI. So please download whatever I have uh, linked in the description. Don't download anything else. Then you have to flash the H vendor. Now this is important, you know. Now this is based on the Galaxy S20 5G and that's really nice. And maybe that's why, you know, a great device vendor it's been ported to our device treble port. And that's why maybe most of the stuff is working in this GSI. So that's really nice. Now you have to reboot stuff. If you want uh, magic, you can flash it later. Like some people are really cautious if it will enter the boot loop. So just a reboot system like this. And I will show you the boot animation now. You can, this is the boot logo. Let's skip to the boot animation because it takes too much time for this device. And here we go. The Google boot animation, the pixel boot animation is here. And I hope you guys can see it clearly. The boot animation brightness is too much so yep yeah, that is uh, and this is how to install android 11 beta 3 and this is all only for experience purpose you know you cannot use this as daily driver because there are some bugs but you know this android 11 beta 3 on our galaxy s 16 i was uh, like i literally never dreamed of installing android 10 on our device because a lot of developers left and now a new uh, developers are coming in because they are they are having the same processor device which is the Exynos 7870 which is a really lucky processor now those who are owning J7 2016 NXT and Prime they will be like really blessed with uh, those developers and otherwise the developers are from A3 or J7 Pro devices so I don't know but yeah like they are really pro so thanks to them all thanks to the all uh, 7870 community we can experience latest stuff on our device like four year old device so that's really crazy and awesome so yep uh, that's it 
and i hope you guys will uh, you know if you want experience you can just follow this easy guide also i have made a xta thread to just a guide to you know ease the installation instructions and all being like very clear there so yeah you can go there the xta thread is also in the description and you can press thanks if you have completely like properly booted your device into android 11 and for any more info you can ask me in the comment section and please uh, press the like button for this video and dislike button if you don't like uh, it's on your uh, it's your thing and it's a feedback for me so bye bye and i will see you guys in the next video and guys please take care and now it's you know uh, some places uh, unlock process is there so yeah take care and go out i'm not saying just stay in because you know five months staying in home it's really bad also guys uh, let me know about this uh, setup uh, not setup i mean this artificial lighting video which i am shooting after longer time and yeah let me know so yeah bye bye I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care. Bye-bye.